previously on MTV's Follow Me. How is your singing going, Garly? Uh... For me, following through is probably the most important thing. Stop with me. God. I can't do this with you. My sister should practice because you can really only make things happen if you're gonna take actions for it. The more you guys hang out, the more you guys go at each other. You're not about to diss me right here, girl. I didn't ruin your nail. I'm... Do not do that. Bremen is not talking to me right now. I know that he is avoiding me. Do you think like you and your brother should pick like time far apart from each other? I don't want to grow apart. I want to grow together. Honestly, being alone is like the best therapy for me. Are you Cinderella? If it fits. It there, it fits. Mm. That's so cute. I'm still a little bit frustrated with my sister and girl, I'm not talking to her right now. And honestly, I still need a break, but now is truly not the time to take a break because the bot is rolling, girl. Hello? Belinda. Hey, girly. Hi. Hey, girl. Where are you right now? How was I'm your, on my way home. How was your trip, girl? It was good. You really went to the other island but my island, bitch. So if you guys are wondering who Miss Bella Porch is, she is my content creator, Bessie. She's also originally from Hawaii. And Bella and I are both Croc brand ambassadors. And today I'm gonna be needing a second opinion on some of these looks that I'm gonna be doing for my next shoot with Crocs. Do you wanna help me pick my outfit then? Yeah. Okay, I just needed help. I needed a second eye, honestly. Miss K. Oh my God, I'm right here. Girl, can you bring the clothes? Anyway. Oh. Shit. Duh. Hi, Kay. Hello. Isn't she so cute today? today? Yeah, she glowing today. Okay, let me show you um the vibe that I was wanting to do. What color is the Crocs? Oh, this one. Uh, White. Yeah. Like something laid back, Bella Porch TikTok vibes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this Vivian Westwood like corsetry, like this moment, like this. It's giving drapage with this blue. Oh yeah, that, that would look cute together. It's cute, it's like flowy. Yeah, like water. And I was gonna take it at the beach, like, whew. You know, yeah, like yeah, real Venus-y type. That's gonna be really cute. Right? Okay, thanks for helping me, bitch. You're welcome, you know, I'm always here. But, so how have you been? Like, how have you been lately? Girl, it's, I don't know, it's just hard like juggling, like family, work, and like where my time goes and it like, you know, and every, cause everyone's like pulling at me left and right and like the icing does spread thin, girl. If there's one thing that I learned from therapy, it's that I can't work on my relationship with other people if I'm not working on my relationship with myself. You know, if, if like for a whole week, you're going through a lot of interacting with people, like business meetings and stuff like that, just make sure to have like a time off for yourself. You gotta recharge, you know? Yeah. Wait, speaking of charge, bitch, have you been charging my crystal I gave you? Yes, I have it right now. She gotta have one like pink. Oh me. my gosh, I'm so glad I gave it to you. I love when bitches actually take care of the crystals I give them. I take them with me everywhere. I love that. Me and Kiefer's thinking about going to a healer because Miss K have been having a cute little spiritual awakening of her own. And so I'm just dragging her with me. She doesn't really have an option. Oh. I resonate with spirituality because honestly, it's just what I grew up in. My grandma was very spiritual. Bye, queen. Oh Bye, my queen. Gosh. Bye. And it's it's so weird that Miss K is not more spiritual than she is because her mom is very spiritual. They lived by the cemetery, and so she was just like full of so much like spirit talk. And so I'm like, Kiefer, if you just tap in, trust me, they gonna tap you back. Wait, how come we're going to like a new like crystal shop? Like what is, like why do you want to go there so bad? Honestly, I just want to find like clarity. I don't know, I feel like crystal shops give me that sometimes. Like, I don't know. I feel the calling to go soon. And I want to go with you. Wait, Keith, I, I want to go to the beach. Can you watch the puppies? Where are they? Come here. Lila, come here. Lila, come. Hi, Lila. Girl, you got three kids now. <laughs> okay, bye. Good luck. Okay, bye.
I think this goes in here. So the 30th go inside, and then the 36th goes inside, and the 35 goes inside, and the 33 goes inside first. Princess, what is the numbers? <laughs> 33, 35, 36. I'm glad you can count. <laughs> Wow, what a entrance. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad you're here, actually. Wait, what is this for? The kids. We're gonna play if you, after we do this. If we get it together. We're putting together this basketball hoop for the kids. The blind leading the blind. <gasps> <laughs> but we get done. We're gonna put this basketball hoop to use. Okay, let's, That's good. let's try it out before the kids come. Okay. What are we playing? Horse. Are we gonna make this a competition then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Loser has to suck my toes. Bruh. <laughs> Dre, ciao. What? Loser has to... Get drenched by the hose. Get drenched by the hose! Let's do this. She's an athlete. And she's two kids deep. We're literally about to play a game of horse. Whoever goes first has to shoot the ball. If it goes in, you literally have to mimic or copy the same shot. And if you don't, you get a letter. K to the I, to the E, F, F, E, R. This is like a free throw it's right now. It's moral support. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. Oh, wait, no. I am not going to lose. Money. <laughs> We're playing basketball for a reason. Really not Ah, that tree was interference. Oh. Main princess is tied. Oh my god, oh my god. Between me and princess, things are very competitive. Girl, I don't want to get drenched. H-O-R-S, H-O-R-S? Yes, Yes, friend. we get it. Who are you yelling at? Why you, you, because you're you winning. <laughs> Can you not do that how all around about and Oh my god. Like, Jeray! <laughs> so make it. Beautiful. Okay, go. Behind the back, between the legs. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's out. <laughs> that, that was done! <laughs> no, it's out! No, it's not! Actually, I think that does count. I'm gonna get the water hole started. Are you ready? I am ready. This is like the best bet ever. Ready? Ready? Ready. <laughs> Spraying princess with the hose feels like victory. T-shirt wet contest. <laughs> I mean, I came in second place, but it's okay. I did not lose. Okay, that's good, that's good. She, she... Oh, you took it drenched, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I honestly thought you were gonna win. I hate people. <laughs> I'm glad you went with the deal, though, because sometimes right. you don't. <laughs> Did you want to sit down? Yeah. That was fun. I feel like your brother would have loved to do this. He missed out. I'm sure. Where's Brett? He's at home sleeping, you know. He's been doing, like, therapy on his own. Oh, I love that. Yeah, how's your music going? It's been good. That's yeah. good. I know he's been, um, he's been my ass about it. I feel like he's on your ass about it because, you know, <clears throat> he wants you to do the yard. That. Because, like, if he doesn't support you, you know, he would have been, like, Whatever. not do your thing, talking please. about it or, like, not being on your ass about it. It's, like, a really big thing in my life where, you know, I'm taking the steps into something that I... Something new. And I just kind of, like, want him to be, like, more understanding in a way. I feel like he is. There is one thing that Bretman wants from her sister and it's to follow through whatever she says. Like, and I agree with this. All we want from her is to finish something. You keep saying like he doesn't support you or anything, I but like that's that. his way of him supporting you is giving you tough love about stuff. Yet you say like, oh, he's not supporting me, he's not supporting you, but like that's his way of like telling you like he support you. Talk to Brett. I mean, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, I feel like my success is his success, and his success is 
our yeah, success. And he yeah. just doesn't and want you to sure. fail. And that's that's why like I I also want to make him happy and I want to make him proud. And so that's why like yeah. I want to take this upon myself. I know Berman gets really frustrated when I don't follow through on what I tell him about the goals. And I still plan to do it all. It's just it's gonna take me a little while, you know? But I'm gonna get through it. Mm. I'm glad you realized it. Now you just gotta do it. That's a lot of growth. Yeah. A lot of growth. Mm -hmm. So poppy. We love you. The f is lovey dovey. Um, we're gonna go see the spiritual healer today. I'm so excited, Keith. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. This is the first time we're both going. But I'm glad I'm going with you, girl. Thanks for taking me. I really do hope that the crystal shop helps me kind of look within myself more. And I really feel like Miss K needs to tap in into her spirituality side. It's there for sure. Last year was such a big, like, awakening for me. Yeah. I feel like you've had awakenings, but you don't realize they are. But you wouldn't know what the difference is. Yeah. It's gonna be exciting. And I can't wait to see, like, if I do have, like, a spiritual side on me and, like, to see if I have guardian angels. Because I do feel like there's people around me. I just sometimes feel them, but I want to know who they are. That's why I'm so excited to talk to a spiritual healer. We're here, girly. We're so excited to have you. Girl, it is so beautiful in here. There's so much colors. It's so gay. <laughs> I love it. So we enter the crystal shop and immediately I feel like I'm transported. Just the vibe in there, you feel it right away. And I love learning about crystals. Honestly, my goal in life is to discover a crystal and name it Bretman's Rock. We actually have a medium in-house who can actually provide a reading for you today if you're interested. Very interested. I'm, uh, yeah. I feel like if I could talk to the dead girl, I would not be saying I'm a medium. No, I'm petite. <laughs> kind of like nervous to see what the medium I has know. to say. I'm excited yet yeah, nervous. Hello. The spiritual medium sit down and I feel like this powerful woman like sitting in front of me. You can just see her energy and her aura is so like, ugh. I just want to know everything from her. So my name's Lori. My immediate gift or energy work is I can see your spirit guides and angels. Is there anything that um, you're curious about? Who's coming through yeah, for I'm, you? Yeah, I'm, I'm open. Okay, so. Wow, okay. Female. And they're hiding their face. Did you have, do you have a female relative that passed in this life? Be my grandma. She's with you. She's actually on your right side. Yeah. You know, she's quiet. She doesn't want to show her face, but she shows a lot of love and she's watching over you. feelings, a lot of energy moving. I feel like my grandma is around me to show love and compassion because I kind of like pushed it away for so long and she always wanted to make you feel comfortable. And I feel like that's what she's trying to tell me, like always give people love and always make people feel comfortable. Sorry. Okay. That was actually normal. It's happened to me too. Like, I'm good, I'm going for my session, and all of a sudden, wait a minute, I didn't feel that. But you know, sometimes things come up in our energy points where they maybe have been stuck, and all of a sudden it goes, whoa. And how do humans do? We either talk, cry, laugh, or fart. Or fart. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
as overwhelmed as she was, I feel like I was overwhelmed as well. And I think I was kind of like hiding my emotions. So deep down, best believe I was crying with her, but I had to be strong for the both of us. So right now, two of them are really coming strong. They were, they were strong as soon as I saw you. One's on the left and one's on the right. Your right side, definitely a female presence. Very, very intelligent, very smart uh, grandmother. My grandma, I knew it was my grandma. It has to be my grandma. She always coming through. I really don't even need no medium to tell me my grandma's around, bitch. I be hearing her right now. My grandma said you're a bitch. I have to also share that there is a male close presence with you. Oh my God, wait, hold on. Your face literally just turned into my dad just now. Is it my dad? I've always wondered why I couldn't connect with my dad the same way I could connect with my grandma, because I hear her loud and clear in my head. He loves you, like, the love is just so incredible. Don't be afraid and open that for your dad. Thank you. Your yeah. grandma, you're just like, oh yeah, give it all to me. She gives but, me kisses yes. all the time yes. with the sun. But your dad's going, hi, I love you, please let me in. I think there's like a resentment still that like blocks him from like coming through like my grandma does. I think that's why it's hard for me to connect with him because I don't think I let him in like how I let my grandma. Yeah. I channel him, but I, I think it's the resentment that I have with him. Talk to him. Journaling, I tell my clients all the time, journal. Yes, journal. I journal. Yeah. I do. And then, you know, burn it. You'll start feeling better. Hey, Lynn, the therapist also mentioned about writing my feelings more often. You know what I want you to do, Brett? Write out all of your feelings. This exercise is going to bring you closer to yourself. And what you're doing is you're having the courage to look at yourself. And so therapy and spirituality is kind of going hand in hand. Both of them is teaching me is truly just being open. Thank you for coming in Thank today, you. honestly. I feel like there's a reason why you're here today. I think so. Period. Kiefer, I feel like we should just hug it out. Yeah. Like, honestly, I really need a hug, girl. Thanks for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Girl, you really be letting me drag you everywhere. It's okay. I'm used to it. Where is he at? Yeah, where Ooh. is Brett? Brett? He set this up. Oh my god, it is super cute. Who's starting the fire? Not me. Okay, I don't know how me. to start a fire. Me, 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 me. Bremen asked us to come in today so we can have a little moment by the beach to have some s'mores, enjoy a little campfire. He also says that he has something important to say, so we're waiting. Let her start the fire. Let's see what let's see how far she can get this. Let's see how far she can get this without the lighter in her hand. Should we, should I help her? I got this. No, no, she got it. Okay, can I have that bowl she for was, the chocolate? She was a scout girl. No, I was not. Stop playing. Ooh. Oh, the chocolate looks really good. I want to try it. Come on, dog. She's over here, literally, like, trying her hardest <laughs> to, like, like, the fire. Oh, my God. It keeps dying. I think, like, five, ten minutes passed by. Still no fire. I'm like, do you need help? She's like, I got this. Bro. I got it, I got it, I Princess, got it. Princess, let me just hold it. Another five minutes. You need help? I got it. Okay, go ahead. No, I got it. I know how to light a fire. Like, I really do, I really do. Wait, put, light that side. Stop moving it, that's why you just leave it in one place. It's just the wind. I swear it was just the wind. Where is Brett when we need it? I know. <laughs> Kiefer, I got it, give it to me. Give Wait, it to it's firing. Firing? Bitches. Who the heck told Bretman to dress like this? I thought we were coming here for a campfire, not no red carpet. Oh my God. Oh my oh my God. God. Princess, what is up with you and fire, girl? First, you can't start an oven. Now you can't start a fire, girl. Listen to her. Wait, put it right here, put it right here. Wow. That looks amazing. To make a fire, you need three things. Fuel, air, and oxygen. A bad bitch. Oh. Wow, that fire looks amazing. You know me, bitch. Imagine my dress catches on fire. Here's some little things for us. I don't think I've ever used an actual s'more steak before. Yeah, same. Bitch, white people think of everything. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the f Cook really fast. 
So this evening, I have something very cool and something very fun planned. We are going to be burning letters. Yeah. But like, what are we actually doing here? Oh, thank God you asked. We wrote down these letters that we wanted to release that was, um, Kind of like a like a goodbye moment. Kind of like a goodbye to like old bad habits that um, are getting in the way of our relationship as like brothers and sisters and whatnot. And then when we're done reading it, we burn her and release her into the universe. Yeah, I just wanted you and Miss K here as like, you know, obviously emotional support for the both of us. You've always been there for my sister when I'm not, and Miss K is always here for me when sure. Princess is not. So should we do it? Should we do our little mini exercise? You should go first. I feel like it'd be more official if I stand up. Yeah. Purr. Oh my God. So the first thing that I would like to release and to work on is my communication. I feel like I come across very aggressive sometimes. So I want to release the tone and diction that I use when I'm trying to communicate or even just like in general yeah, in general like in general and another aspect of communication obviously is listening and I feel like I cut you off a lot when you speak which is very vice versa girl let's be real here next is I would love to be more present with you um, because I feel like when I do call you it's really just how's the kids it's never how's you um, another one that I would love to work on is emotional support. Emotionally, I feel like I'm not present a lot. And I feel like I neglect a lot of your emotions. Like when you're sad over some dumb shit, I don't need to remind you it's over dumb shit, You know what I mean? You can be sad and be valid that you're sad. Aw, I love that. And the last, I love that. but not the least, I have so many dreams and ideas for you. And because of that, I put a lot of pressure on you. And that is something that is out of my control. And I should let you find yourself and find greatness on your own. Listening to Bretman and his letter made me feel like he's trying to communicate with me better. And that takes a lot for Miss Bretman Rock. We are finally seeing each other eye to eye. OK, mine is like a letter more. We made our mistakes and errors. I know we both are not perfect, but I don't want us to be. Even though it'd be much easier and simple, I love our crazy funny moments I've realized that the little time we have together are memories that last forever. I just wish sometimes I'm comfortable enough to call you and say, I miss you, or even tell you what I'm going through. I want to let go all of the heartbreak, pain, hurt, sadness, and depression that we might have caused each other and fill our hearts with pureness and everlasting, unconditional, imperfect love. Oh, so Can a you hug. hug? Wow, they know their problems. They, they're like fixing it. I'm so happy for them. Wow, she was really giving. It was Guys, very giving. I felt like this honestly came from your heart and it soul. It did. I felt like it was something they wanted to do for a long time. So to be able to witness it was actually really beautiful. If I'm getting teary, it's this. No, honestly, no, it, that it was is so that. Beautiful. It is really this. But that was both beautiful and... I feel like things are slowly changing in our relationship, and we are taking steps to grow the relationship that we want for each other. Let's burn this together, and all the bad energy, the bad anything so that beautiful. comes... So beautiful. So it can just... doesn't come right back. Here he is. Three, two, one. Hey. Tonight was such a cute night. And honestly, after our speeches, if you may, I really feel so much lighter. And I really do feel like we released things. We really did. I want Huli Huli Chicken now. <laughs> next time on MTV's Following. A lot of people come here and they think they're just gonna get educated, but they end up getting healed. I wanted to connect with my sister. We've been having like relationship issues. Hopefully it will go really good because me and Bretman are still in the stage of healing. You guys are close, but yet too close for you guys butt heads and stuff like that. Very that. Especially right now and things that I'm going through, like I think I just wanna be alone. 
Girl, are you kidding me? You're not liked and subscribed yet? Do it already.